Lovelies, welcome back to another quarantine studio vlog. I hope you all been doing well, and I hope you enjoy the vlog this week. I found a bunch of scrap canvas that I had lying around and gessoed it so I could paint some little studies. I don't really have many like stretch canvases lying around, but I do have a lot of scrap raw canvas. So that's what I have to work with. Today I'll be painting um, on this little square here um, for another video that I'm making about how to transform paintings you don't like. I've been playing Animal Crossing mostly all morning. I did a little morning workout, which honestly made me feel so good. So. I need to do that more because I never do. A little plant update. I did a little bit of gardening yesterday. So the ivy that I used to have in here was mostly dead. There were dead leaves all over the floor and we don't like to see that. So I trimmed the healthiest of all the branches and now I have them growing some roots. So hopefully they blossom into a whole new ivy plant. The lettuce I had growing in here was red leaf lettuce, which isn't my favorite. And it was growing in a bit bitter. I don't know if this is helpful, but I left it outside for the squirrels and the birdies to eat. Maybe I should put some peanut butter in there or something. I don't know. The prayer plant is still doing good. Another leaf has yet to unravel. These big boy pothos leaves are still taking their sweet time to root as they normally do. But the ones I had in the other jars for like two or three weeks, I planted them here and here. There are these new little leaves that are just starting to poke out. So I put my pink cactus in a bigger pot and then green onions still chilling. Up in this pot here, I have my little wandering boys. I love the look of the ivy in the jar. I really like it. So basically my plan for today is to film that painting video and then maybe do a couple figure studies. I did one in charcoal the other day. Uh, maybe I can do some more charcoal ones or hopefully I can bust out the paints and get back to painting because I do miss doing that. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So I had the intention of making two different types of figure studies, one that is just solely based off the reference photo, and then one that I take into Photoshop to store it a little bit to create some kind of interesting creature-like thing. I didn't really push that as far as I wanted to this time because the difference between the two are very subtle. But essentially what I did um, in Photoshop was use the clone stamp tool and use that on my face and my limbs. So you can kind of see with the second one, I have like three faces, Gemini mood, am I right? Um, like a triple boob action. My left arm is kind of flying away and my right arm, there's like a double vision type of effect. I actually do prefer the more representational figure, just I think my actual painting technique was better there. But I also enjoyed playing with transparency and distortion of the figure in the second one. And I like the piece overall, I think the background and like the moon in the center is really cool and adds some nice contrast. Um, but definitely next time I will exaggerate the distortion on the second one, so there's a bit of a difference. Initially, I didn't want to like combine them together in one piece. I just wanted to do one study of the normal picture and one study of like a Photoshop experiment, but they ended up kind of pairing together nicely in the end, so I'm happy with that. So, I want to paint today, for sure, but I also need to do my hair because it used to be pink and then it was purple and pink and then it was purple. But either way, any kind of like warm red or pink tone left over in my hair is making it this like orangey peachy color, which I'm not really vibing with. It looks brassy, so so I think that's the move. So I'm sitting on my floor, Trisha Pay to style, super conflicted about my hair. I have two colors here. I have like a shocking blue. It's kind of purpley because I think I put a little bit of pink in it to get a more purple effect. And I have like a magenta. I was gonna do like a half and half look because I've never had that before. I've never done that. I also am like blue and pink. Like that's already my main aesthetic. Am I just rubbing my bisexuality in people's faces at this point? I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely more of like a purpley blue. It's not like a blue blue. But... So if you want it to be cool, like I thought about maybe doing like the roots and the purple and the rest pink. Or a strand of purple, a strand of pink, a strand of purple, a strand of pink. That'd be fun to make like this. It's just gonna be like all mixed up together. Should I do that? Fuck, my one thing is I don't have gloves right now. I use them all up 
for tattooing and then pandemic hit and then they're all sold out of stores so i'm about to have some blue hands please 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 spare gloves man no luck okay fuck it i'm doing half and half fuck it um i'm just a little nervous because I'm just like a little hesitant because my roots are so grown in at this point that it looks like an ombre and I just wonder if it would be as much of a look with the grown in roots as opposed to like completely bleached, complete color. All right. I literally feel so shitty not having gloves right now because I know I'm gonna have to like, I was trained professionally to color hair when I worked at a hair salon back in the day and I don't have gloves so I know this looks really bad. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Manic Panic is my favorite, like, accessible brand of hair color. First of all, it's nostalgic for me. So, like, opening it up and smelling it. I can't eat this, but how exciting is it to smell it? And it's it's vegan, like, cruelty-free. And also, it just comes in, like, this tub that you can take, like, however much you want. Mix it into condition to make it paler. And then if you mix too much, like I did, dump it back in the jar and use it again. So I think Manic Panic's great, especially if you're only doing like pastel colors or like mixing it with conditioner, cause then this thing will last you like months um, as it has for me. It's not gonna be that satisfying, but like, scoop. <laughs> not Spons, wish it was. Literally every video, I just rave about a different product and I say not Spons and I wish I was Spons. So if you wanna Spons me, let me know. Bye. You know what? It's cute. I'm thinking. I have a lot of pink left over too. What do we think? Like it's gonna be a little ombre moment. Honestly, whatever. I don't know. What did I even do? Hey guys, this has been a journey. Thank you for venturing with me. I'll come back, but I will shower. I will come back and I'll update you guys when my hair is all dry. And this is the result. So we got this kind of like earl grey lavender. And as you can see, I tried to do the hot pink roots. It's a little chunky because it was a last minute decision and I literally just gooped it on top. But at least I know what I want to do next time. And then the pink side, I think it's such a look. So back to some Photoshop shenanigans. Uh, I had taken a bunch of great pictures of plants I found in Vancouver and have been meaning to like incorporate them into art for a while. And when I'm doing more abstract or imaginative work, Photoshop is really the best tool because you kind of get to lay out your composition, play with like digital manipulation and layering and transparency and all sorts of fun things. So, so I had a bit of fun creating different compositions with the PNGs of plants that I made and used a little bit of the paintbrush tool to just show where I want to keep the underpainting showing. Uh, and this is the image I ended up with and I got started immediately. And after putting down those flowers, I was super excited about this one. I just think the flowers are so simple, but bold and very graphic. It started looking like some kind of like a textile pattern to me. I was happy where I left it the first day. Hello and good morning. So as you can hear, it's very early in the morning. The birds are chirping and whatnot. Um, so I, I didn't sleep, first of all. I've just been up all night, but that's just been a thing that I've been doing lately. It's just, you know, chilling, hanging out, then whoops, it's eight in the morning. Um, so I got up started doing a Chloe Ting workout. Shout out to my girl Chloe for keeping me fit during quarantine. And as I'm on the floor doing some inchworm push-ups, you know, um, I look down and I see a colony of ants. But my room is the one that connects to the outdoors through the patio door. So this is apparently a thing that happens every spring. 
um, you know, wasn't prepared for it last year, wasn't prepared for it this year, but I got the raid, I'm so sorry, I know that's like anti-vegan, but there were so many. Sprayed that shit, just put some gloves on, and scraped all the ant corpses out of the corner. And that sent me spiraling, so now I'm redoing my whole room. So you guys can have fun and watch me struggle to rearrange my whole room. So this is where I left my progress yesterday. I'm already like super happy with it. I just love these really graphic geometric forms. It lacks contrast. Of course I gotta refine the little lion statues a bit more and the human form. I don't even know if I want to touch these anymore. Like I just love that as is. So yeah, I got off to a really good start yesterday. I'll be revisiting it today and seeing where I get with it. It's a very cold and rainy day today, um, but I'm still painting. I tend to paint only when it's like really nice out because I enjoy the light that happens in here, but as you can see, I have this little desk light for my workspace, which makes me a little nervous because I've only been painting with natural light, and as you can see, this light is pretty warm, so I'm a little scared it's gonna alter the colors I choose, but I don't think it should be too bad. And I just wanna keep working on this guy because I'm already super happy with it, so let's get painting. I continued to work on the piece, really keeping in mind, not overworking it, keeping it blocked out. And this was really challenging because there are so many elements to this painting, it's so, mu so much imagery happening. I really had to figure out the balance between all of them and decide what kind of rendering I was going to do on each element because I didn't want anything competing or overpowering. Um, and I really wanted to keep the focus on the figures, but also have a harmony between all the elements at once. So it was a bit of a challenge. Good morning, everyone. So for the past like week or so, I've been working on that painting, but today I decided to take a little break from the wet mediums and dive into some like quick stress-free sketches. My favorite like sketching videos to watch are when people go out and just draw with pencil crayon and it's a gorgeous day out so I might take a walk later. I love pencil crayons as a sketching medium. Um, I don't have any with me unfortunately but my roommate Sydney lent me her brand new ones like these haven't even been used yet. I will not be taking this christening lightly, sketching in the sun, absorbing some vitamin D gonna be good. Also my pothos down here is growing a new leaf. I feel like the beginning of pothos growth starts very slow but then once like one leaf is born the vine just keeps growing and it's beautiful. So yeah. doing some sketches and then taking a lovely walk in the sun, I decided to repot the basil and oregano plants that we got recently just so they have more room to grow and we have more herbs to eat. Um, this was a really relaxing and grounding process. I was very at peace. And then I just did some final touches on my painting and blocked in the background to give it a similar vibe to the like lavender color that I blocked in at the bottom. I just wanted everything to be really harmonious. with the final. 
final result. Um, I posted it up on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out. Check it out. Plant corner looking cute as always. So I recently got an oregano plant and my roomie got a basil plant. I was not able to revive the basil we had before. So we got some new herbs just cause like that's so good for the summer, like making dishes with fresh herbs in your windowsill. I thought it would be a nice idea to try and make some pasta with some like basil and oregano fresh from my window. So I'm just boiling the water right now. Got this lentil pasta that I'm excited to try. I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.